Do you need a budget PC build? Nowadays, the better option is a pre-built gaming PC. But I made a PC build that costs $650 and performs actually really well at 1080p gaming. I investigated a lot to get this video done and to pick the right parts. I will leave the link to the parts and the similar pre-build in the description of this video. So maybe you don't want a PC build but you want a pre-built PC that performs the same, you have it as well down below. Now let's break down the specifications for this PC. First thing I chose was the graphics card and I picked the RX 550 with 2GB of VRAM. This one is really good at 1080p gaming for an entry level and it will get the job done for now. Another thing that I did here is that I made a great PC around it so if you don't like the graphics card you can replace it right now or upgrade it in the future. So that's one of the most important things that I did here. Easy to upgrade in the future and easy to replace now. But to start the RX 550 is more than enough to play competitive games at 1080p and even some hard running games at medium settings, like for example Red Dead Redemption. I will leave you a benchmark video for this PC in the description of the video, so you can exactly see what this PC can run in games. Now for the CPU, I was between the i3 10100F or the i5 9400F, but I decided to pick the i3 because it's better for gaming, and I really doubt that you are going to buy this budget PC for video rendering, which the i3 is pretty good, but the i5-9400 is better for that. But anyway, for competitive games and games in general, the i3-10100F will perform better. For the motherboard, I went with the Asus Prime H510MA, which is going to get the job done for this budget PC. Now for the RAM, I picked two sticks of 8GB at 2666 MHz, which once again will get the job done and it's great for multitasking. For me, the RAM is one of the most important things in a PC build. On a gaming PC in general I mean. Not only because it's faster at multitasking, but some games use more RAM than others, like for example Fortnite. And for games like that, 16GB of RAM will make a huge difference. Now for the power supply, I picked the EPGA 500W 80 plus certified power supply. We don't need more than that. In the future, if you want to upgrade it, depending on the GPU that you are putting, maybe you will need a better power supply. But for now, you don't need more than 500. For the case, I picked the AeroCool Cyclone RGB Mid Tower. This one is really nice, it has some RGB and the airflow is decent. My brother has the same exact case and never had any problems with it and he has the RTX 2060 I think. So yeah, the case is pretty good, we don't really need a better one for now. And for the last component, I picked 1TB of hard drive for you to have plenty of space. If you want to put some SSD, you can, but I didn't put it because I didn't want the price to go that high and made this PC a non-budget option. Now the only pre-built gaming PC that you can compare to this PC build is the iBuy Power Element Mini 9300. This one is a really good pre-build, it's around $60 cheaper, but it doesn't come with 1TB of hard drive and another stick of 8GB of RAM. The CPU is really similar, it's the Ryzen 3 3100, so the performance will be pretty much the same, but you will have to upgrade some things in order to have a better experience. But if you don't want to build your own PC, then this iBuy Power is for you. Now I did my research and tried to find another pre-built PC to compare to my PC build, but most of the pre-built gaming PCs that I found were really overpriced. Almost every PC that I saw at the $650 mark had a Vega 8 graphics card or even the GT 730. So please, if you are going to buy a pre-built, buy the iBuy Power and don't make any mistakes. My personal recommendation is depending on your necessities. If you don't want to build your own PC, then yeah, the pre-built PC is your best option. But if you want to build your own PC and have that nice experience, I recommend you buying this PC build that I just gave to you. Anyway, if you want to inform yourself even more about technology, you have my website in the description of this video, where you are going to find a lot of blogs and informative blogs about technology, gaming, and lots of PCs. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe. It will be helping me a lot. Thanks and see you next time.